Hey guys, this is AF Nino here and welcome to a full tutorial guide on Max's side of the buried easter egg. Be aware this is Max's side only, I'll be doing a Richterfin guide uh, later on in the future. But uh, this video is only on Max's side of the easter egg, so um, yeah, the, um, this easter egg you can only do it on 4 player co-op, only 4 players, all 4 players is needed. Um, so yeah, it's um, a fairly long easter egg at the start but some steps take longer than others, so you need need a, a little bit more patience than <laughs> usual. So um, anyway, first step you have to do is uh, build the gallows, which is right next to the courthouse. You need four parts for this. Uh, the first part you need is a battery, which is inside the church behind the altar. You see there behind the altar of the church that where the battery is supposed to be. Uh, second part is a spool of wire. Just go down. Uh, the underground path past the bank and uh, bef the room before the weapon chalks where all the, the chalks is you find on the corner there's a spool of wire there that is the second part. Uh, third part there's a, uh, a bulb kind of thing um, ab uh, right above the room above uh, Leroy's jail cell it's uh, next to that uh, box location there's a bulb there you pick that up and you put it there. And the fourth and final part is the antenna, which is in the barn, in the, the lower floor of the barn, um, towards the calancombs. Um You just pick that up, that is the fourth part. And uh, once you've attached all four parts of the, uh, of the gallows, uh, this is what Max has said. I am pleased to see that Ritofen has not diverted you from our mutual goal. Uh, second step you need to do is uh, break four orbs around the map. Um, for, to do this uh, you need one player needs the subsurface resonator and uh, another player needs the turbine. So um, um, where these four orbs are is the first one is um, right between the candy shop and the saloon. Is right there you just put the resonator in front and the second player puts the tur turbine behind which powers up the resonator and uh, which breaks that orb. Uh, second orb is uh, right above in the mines is um, going up where you in upstairs uh, the saloon um, right above and uh, where you, the couple of signs are the, the mines are um, just one here just put the resonator and the turbine together and you should break that uh, third orb is uh, right next to the chirp like uh, on the left um, it's right on the left there you just put the resonator in front and then the turbine next Uh, fourth and final orb is uh, past the mansion, so uh, I do uh, recommend that you deposit all your points um, in the bank, so otherwise the witches will um, take all your points. Um, just when you go through and before the maze and when you like exit the, the mansion, um, before the exit of the mansion, this is probably the most difficult one to see, but it is there. Uh, just put the resonator in there and then the turbine to power up, and this is what Max has said after all four orbs are broken. I think I can put this to you. All right, third step, you need to find a lantern which floats uh, throughout the map from kind of around the courthouse area or around the man just around the entrance of the mansion. Uh, you need what you need to do is a uh, cooking grenade and time it so that it explodes near the lantern. You need to time this, and uh, once you do uh, get the lantern to fall down, you just need to pick it up. The lantern is a vessel for energy. The energy contained within all matter. You must find a method to manipulate the power of the undead. Their energy may provide vital fuel for the lantern. Lest you face corruption from the errant energy, you may need help from a soul already bound to this realm. Uh, once you have the lantern, uh, what you need to do is get some candy and uh, feed Leroy the candy and once he goes berserk he will start uh, killing zombies and what that does is that fills up the lantern with zombie souls. Um, this can only be done using Leroy while after he eats candy. This can't be, you can't kill zombies by yourself and fill the lantern, you need Leroy to do it. And uh, once he kills uh, every zombie you hear a ding that um, indicates um, that the lantern is being filled and uh, I don't know how many zombies exact you need to need to fill the lantern 
um, probably around 9 or 10, so it could vary. But um, yeah, after you fill the lantern up, uh, what you need to do is go up to um, above the, the gunsmith. And uh, on one part, you will find there's a lantern sign on the, on the floor of that roof. And what you need to do is just um, put that lantern there, and uh, this is what comes up. Okay, after you put that lantern down, and uh, um, what that comes up on the sign is a tic-tac-toe cipher. So it's a code that you need to decipher, and that will tell you which of the signs in the mind that you have to hit first. Uh, this is a kind of complicated at the start, but it, it gets easy when once you get used to it. All you have to do is I'll I'll, sh I'll show you here. Um, using the tic tac toe, you just have to split the letters of the alphabet in groups of three, so A B C D E F and so on. Um, the only one that doesn't have a group of three is the last two letters Y Z, and then the third one will be a space. Uh, what you need to do is um, the the white lines, the white lines that on the on the cipher that indicates the border on which. A group of letters that you need to use so if it's a U shape that means that you use the border of the DEF um, the DEF group and um, the red line indicates um, which letter of that group you use so if it's the red lines on the left um, you use the first letter if it's on the middle you use the second letter and if it's on the right you use the third letter um, I do recommend that you only decipher the first letter as each sign has its own uh, has a uh, different first letter so all you need to do is decipher the first letter and uh, you'll get your three signs that you have to do okay after you decipher that tic-tac-toe um, what you need to do is go back into the mines I know you need to find the signs that uh, um, correspond with the cipher so um, what we had is D B G and uh, what that what that had to, to find um, we had to find the signs that had uh, D B and G as the starting ones so um, what you need to do now is uh, hit hit those signs in order with either the galva knuckles. You need either the galva knuckles or the Bowie knife. Uh, you need to just hit those signs in order of the cipher. And what that does is uh, that uh, makes a wisp appear. Um, before you do this step, I do recommend that uh, while one of the players are activating the, the wisp, the other three players are training zombies in three different locations of the map because um, the wisp, if you leave the wisp uh, to carry on on its own, it will run out. It needs zombies to keep stay powered. So it needs zombies to stay powered. So what you need to do is get other three players to train around f uh, five or six zombies in each of these three locations. Okay, the first re recommended location is um, just outside Juggernaug. So just um, outside the, the jail cell and Juggernaug location. So around there, just train like five, six zombies. Just one player to do that uh, second player should train zombies around in the barn either the top level or lower level wherever he feels is easiest to, easiest to do that and the third player should train the zombies just outside the saloon so um, just try train them outside the saloon and uh, this is the best um, places to train them like probably like the best um, places in terms of it's easiest to train them and that's where the the direction of the wisp will go so um, once you hit all three signs that what the wisp will do the wisp will activate and you what you have to do is follow it on its way uh, it will make its way down to where speed color is and then down uh, to the jail cell and outside juggernaut and that's where the first group of zombies um, where the first player of his training the zombies should appear and what that does is um, it lights up the zombies arms and it keeps the wisp uh, keeps the wisp powered and um, what it does it will go up um, the stairs and above the jail cell and it will make its way towards the barn where the second person should have his group of zombies ready and uh, to keep that wisp powered and then it will go through um, the second part of mines and then it will appear uh, right in front of the salon um, where the third person should have his group of zombies ready and will keep this um, to keep the wisp powered and uh, after that it will make its way part the, past the candy shop and on its way into the gallows okay after the wisp is um, powered up uh, one person uh, needs to have the time bomb one person is required to have the time bomb and he should lay it down before you activate that wisp and uh, once that wisp has gone into one of the bulbs and um, that player with the time bomb needs to activate the time bomb what does that is send you back in time so uh, all the thing all the things that um, you've done in that time is uh, is erased except that activation of the wisp as you're going back into the gallows you'll see that one of the bulbs is already activated and what you need to do is repeat the last step and uh, to get the second bulb uh, lit up
next step what you have to do there are three places where um, there are uh, three sets of bells uh, one set is in the bottom floor of the courtroom so the floor below speed cola uh, the second one is the floor above um, the candy shop uh, not the floor with the power switch and then the third place is on the top level of the barn uh, what each location will have uh, three bells and um, so three players should be in different locations. Uh, as I say again, all floor players are needed to do this Easter egg. And uh, the fourth player needs to go into the mansion. And uh, what that what is in the mansion is a kind of a, a switchboard or a, with a lever on it. And what that switchboard had is a, a three sets of three pattern of lights, which um, when activated, it's, it signals like when bells. So what you need to do is uh, call um, out to other people um, which to test out um, different bells and uh, you need to memorize which bell corresponds with which switch so um, the first column will represents the, the bells in the candy store the second column represents the, the bells in the barn and the third column represents the bells in the courtroom so um, what they need to do is just test out each bells and uh, memorize which bells which and then after they've done after you've memorized all those bells um, just activate, um, pull the lever on the switchboard and activate the switchboard and what does that is start a pattern and what you need to do is call out which um, bell they, the players have to ring and uh, if you keep doing that all the, and you do the nine bells in the right order uh, that's fine if you do one wrong it resets the whole thing so you do need to be careful you do need to memorize each bell um, so after you um, activate um, all nine bells in the correct order you should be fine with that step I do recommend um, the guy with the in the mansion have um, the galvan knuckles because um, obviously the witches are going to keep coming to you and uh, the galvan knuckles is the best weapon because it's a one hit kill on the witches so uh, I do recommend you have the galvan knuckles while you're in there um, calling out bells. Alright, the final step is um, what you need to do is, um, I've seen videos where um, people say you have to break the fountain um, outside the church, but you don't have to break the fountain uh, unless you're going to continue on the game after the easter egg and you know want, you want to have the teleport activated in uh, inside the maze. Um, but what, um, what you have to do is on that fountain there is a, a signal that says hold X to make a wish and once you hold X that um, makes a wish and what this does is activates a couple of um, sharpshooters, sharpshooter type targets all around the map in four locations and uh, what we need to do is probably the hardest one and probably won't take the longest um, is you need to shoot them all, you need to shoot each one, you can't miss one otherwise you, you um, have to do the step again um, so there's four locations that you have to do. Um, one location is uh, beside the candy store in front of the, the courtroom. Uh, that, that will be the person that will have to um, activate the fountain to make the wish. Uh, second one is on the railing on the top floor of the saloon. Um, on, on that railing there. Uh, third one is uh, by Leroy's jail cell or you could do... Um, you could... Um, um, be situated on top of, of the general store or just in front of Juggernog. This is um, one that takes a kind of time because um, you need there will be some um, um, sharpshooters that will spawn behind you so um, you do need to take care of that. And the fourth one is on the uh, left side of the mansion you need to stand just outside the church and on the left side of the mansion that's where um, that's where the sharpshooters will appear. I do recommend that each of these players um, have the PDW, this is arguably the best weapon to, to use this to shoot the um, the targets uh, first and foremost because um, you know um, the aim down sight speed uh, to um, switch down is uh, kind of fast and uh, the reload speed is kind of fast as well and it has 50 bullets per mag so you won't um, intentionally miss targets um, if you um, reload, uh, that is if you conserve your ammo um, wisely. Uh, what you need to do, each player has to um, shoot the targets, um, ov obviously it's very difficult at first, uh, I do recommend you memorise where the targets are, um, you do have to memorise um, which order they come in, um, it's obviously going to take a lot of time, but uh, once you've memorised them and once you shoot all of them, in the all of them, everybody has to shoot all of them, if you miss one you have to do the separate event, once you shoot all of them, uh, this is what happens. Yeah. 
So yeah, after that step, that completes the Easter egg and what happens is that you get all 7 perks permanently throughout the game. You cannot lose them even if you go down or if you bleed out, you will still keep your perks. And uh, what that does is uh, you get the achievement Mind Games, the 75 gamer points. And uh, very good, you've completed uh, e Max is side of the Easter egg. And um, so yeah, that's it um, for me guys. Um, this has been F Nino. I will um, post out a, a Richtofen um, tutorial later on. But uh, thank you for watching this tutorial on doing Max's side of the buried Easter egg. And um, I'll see you guys later. Um, also, an added thank you to Nathan Avi, Tom Pearson and Nick Gasco, though, the three players that helped me uh, in this Easter egg. Um, without them, this would have never been possible, so a huge thanks to them. Uh, their links to their Twitters and their YouTubes are in the description below, so go follow them and subscribe to them. And um, yeah, guys, until next time, peace out.